Okay, so this is a super quick video on how to fix export problems for your animations and kind of to see what the um, you know the problems are that, that, that happen with us um, w essentially why our animations broke. Uh, notice it's 919 so I'm gonna be a bit tired and talk a bit funny. So why were our animations breaking and how can you export them so they don't break? So our animations were breaking because uh, the reference that I let you gave you to use had a few issues. One of the issues was that most some of the joints were hidden. Another issue was that there was these two folders here, uh, these two groups which aren't supposed to be there. And the other issue is that everything has a name in front of it when it shouldn't. And that happens every time you actually reference uh, a rig. So how do we fix these problems? So if you have these two folders here, uh, once you open up your joints, and the way to open up your joints, you just need to open up the rig. Let me just close everything down. Open up the rig, open up the rig again, this, the main, the rig, and then hold shift and open up the skeleton. When you hold shift, it will expand everything. And when you hold shift, it will close down everything. Notice when I'm not holding shift, I have to open every single bone by itself. I'm going to close it, open it, and hold shift, close it, let go open it. Anyway, hold shift and open up the skeleton so it shows everything. Now, if you have these two little folders here, and these little two groups, it means that you're using an old reference for the character, and you need to upgrade to the new reference, um, the new base scene for the character. That should be on Drive. If you can't find it or don't know where to look, uh, send me a message, and I will point you to it. Uh, it will be called pa -pa -pa should be player rig, right? Um, actually, we're doing the scene, aren't we? Yeah, should should be called player animation reference, and should be from sometime this month. So, um, if you do have these two folders, let me know, and I'll send you the updated one. Now, how do we fix the other problem? These being invisible, just select them all and hold Shift and press H. And that's going to make everything in this selection visible if it's already not. Make sure you don't uh, just select everything and press H because that's going to reverse and actually turn some of them off. So what you want to do is select them all and press Shift H. And that's going to make all the joints visible. If you don't have all the joints visible when you're exporting, you're only going to export the joints which you can see and there's going to be some missing and we don't want that. Now, how to fix this last problem? Um, we need to get rid of all these namespaces. So what are namespaces? When you reference a rig, it's going to put the rig in and then it's going to put the name of the file you're referencing in front of everything, right? And we don't want that. So all you have to do is you need to select this topmost group, right? Uh, let me just do that. Select the topmost group and go to Windows, General Editors, Namespace Editor. And then you just need to select them all apart from the root, leave the root alone, but select the rest, click delete and merge with root. Now look over here, notice what happens. It's gotten rid of all the namespaces in the scene, right? And if we open up our skeleton now, it doesn't have any of that gunk in front of it, right? So what was the problem with our animations before? Essentially, the rig which we export, the skeleton, the, the, the character in its typos that we put into the game engine, has these names for the skeleton and everything, right? And then when we reference that same character for animation, like you do, and then you make it run or walk or whatever, um, we then export that and put that in the game engine. And we tell the game engine, okay, take this running animation and pair it with the skeleton of this character in the typos because they're the same. And the engine's gonna check if they're the same by comparing their names. But if we haven't removed our namespaces, if we haven't, if we have some of these joints hidden, and if we have some weird structure with these two groups, then it's going to compare the two skeletons, the, the one for the running and the one that's just T-posed, and it's going to say, well, they're different. It's not going to work. And then it's not going to work, right? So what we need to do is we need to make sure we're using the reference uh, scene that doesn't have these two groups. We need to make sure all our joints are visible 
and we need to get rid of our namespaces by going to Windows, General Editors, Namespace Editor, selecting them and deleting them, merge with root, done. And now what you can do is you can select your main joint. You can then shift select to the bottom to select all the joints to make sure that you've gotten them all. And then you want to go to file export selection, which is here. You want to make sure that you're on FBX export. So this is if you're, uh, and then you want to go to uh, smoothing groups, standard binormals, reference asset content. That's not really needed for this, but I keep it on anyway. You want to make sure animation is ticked. You want to make sure bake animation is ticked. And we want to, you want to choose the frame range, which you're going to do. It's not going to set it by default. By default, it's always going to be like 1, 250, right? So you need to bake animation and choose the frame range of your animation, however big that is. You want to make sure the form models, skins, and blend shapes are ticked. Uh, and you want to make sure that in constraints, constraints and skeleton definition is ticked. And in connections, include children and in input connections is also ticked, right? Then you can, uh, and that's all on an FBX export. Then you can call it player underscore anim underscore whatever the animation is, idle or run or whatever. Um, if you're doing an enemy, you can do enemy uh, underscore t2 underscore anim underscore whatever the animation is, idle or walk or whatever. Right. So that's how you need to export your animations from your character. Uh, I hope that's useful. If anything's unclear, do let me know. And if you have the wrong reference for the character, again, do let me know and I will send you the correct reference. Have a nice evening and thanks for listening. Bye bye.